just uh, when I'm healthy, it's awesome to play. So however many chances I get, I'm just going to enjoy them. For those that may not be familiar with your game, I mean, have you always been this kind of a playmaker? I mean, you had made a bunch of plays the other night, a couple out here today. Um, I mean, I try to make plays, try to do what the defense asks. I think um, in this system, I think it allows guys to make plays. So I try to play within the system and then kind of let some of my abilities come through, but try never to do too much. How do you approach Saturday night, you know, in terms of another opportunity to show what you can do? It's the same deal. It's, just, uh, it's the most important one because it's the next one, and it's just exciting. Anytime you get the strap on the pads and have some fun, so kind of do the same deal. Honestly, not too dissimilar from a practice like this one where it's competitive. It's just like you get a chance to go out and hit somebody else. You had a pick in that two-minute period. How good was it to respond yourself when you come up with the play there? That was cool. That's just uh, that's a product of everybody doing their jobs, like force a check down because everybody in the back end's covering, front end's rushing. So it's kind of like one of those points of just doing your job. You talk about, I guess, kind of the, the opportunities. You've been taking advantage of opportunities that have been given to you at this camp. I mean, obviously, a lot of it's a product of just being healthy now, but uh, how good does that feel that you're kind of turning some heads? Yeah, I just think it feels good to be able to play. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We uh, still have a long way. We have a long ways to go, but I think we're going to be. Uh, we we do so many different things in the run game. I think that's going to be a strength. Uh, still growing as a group, protection-wise, and uh, getting everybody on the same page. But I think we have a lot of areas to improve. But we're going to be good. You proud at all the way JC handled himself today when he kind of got his helmet ripped off? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it happens. It's football. Um, it, it is what it is. You know, we move on to the next play, and we will talk about it later. In that way, though, in talking about a rookie like JC, where you know, it's never going to be perfect your rookie year, but getting this type of work early mm -hmm. and going in that film room immediately, how beneficial is it for the rooks, especially? It's big because uh, you know we're, we're expecting a lot from him his rookie year, and, and he's got all the talent in the world, and we're going to need him to play big for us. So, uh, come week one, it's going to be a hostile environment. Um, so we just got to get him ready as much as we can, get all of us ready because you know, we, we have a, a young left tackle, young left guard. I'm kind of the vet of the group now, so we all got to get ready. And uh, you know, it's going to be a battle, but we're ready. What you um, that, that's what it is. Like, you know, it's just all about, you know, you're going to face adversity no matter what the adversity look like. Is you getting into another team or you're not completing the ball or you're not hitting the holes right or, you know what I'm saying, or you're getting – are you getting muddy looks? It's just like when you face the adversity, like how are you gonna respond to it? Like you go, you know, you gonna lay down, or you gonna, you know, find a way to fight back. And like that's what we pride ourselves on these two days. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't know how it's gonna look. You know, we're gonna we gonna work and hope for the best, but you know what I'm saying, if it get ugly, we're gonna keep on fighting through adversity and we're gonna band together. No matter what. Whatever whatever it is, we're gonna fight together. After J C got into a little bit of that scrap, we saw Will yelling at you guys in the huddle and you seemed really fired up about that. What were you saying to him? Just like, you know, it's just like that's how you know, that's how you be a good leader. He's just like telling us to, you know, just focus. Like just focus. Like a lot of things around us, like a lot of outside noise, like just focus. Like focus on us. You know what I'm saying? At the end, at the end of the day it's about us. I was just like, you know what I'm saying, that's how you be a leader. When it comes to the two-minute work today, and Callie just kind of mentioned things we need to improve at. What did you see maybe that you guys can go back and look at them a little? I'm just being on one page, yeah. just being on one one page, and like that's why we got film studies, and that's why we got times out here with like heated moments, like to understand like some of our flaws. But at the end of the day, I'm really not a coach, so I can't really, you know, what I'm saying, speak from all them different perspectives. Tajay, this is your second year in a row learning a new offense now. So, what's the mindset at this point in camp when, you know, maybe there are some misfires on a day like today? Um, some misfires, just like I said, you just gotta respond to it. Just gotta respond to adversity. Every Everything like you know, you waking up every day. You want everything to be good, good, and you know, everything to run smoothly, but it's not. So you just gotta, I'm saying, fine. You know, you just gotta respond to it, and uh, you always want to keep a, a positive attitude with it. Look at Jeff back there. Is Jeff with that process of learning a new offense? You know, you get to the point where you're no longer really thinking about it. You're just out there doing it secondhand. Are you seeing that happen? Are you seeing that progress day in and day out? It's starting to flow. You know, what I'm saying like, uh, like what you learn a new offense, of course, like you know, like, you, like should I do that? Like now it's starting to flow and um, you get into like you get into the back end of camp, like you know, all these new things that we put in, okay, like we done heard these things before. Now it's time to now it's starting to flow. Now your natural ability is starting to come out. 
seems like something's starting to click with you and Tony and the guys up front. Just kind of what has been working these last couple of practices? Um, just communication, man. It's, it's just our communication. And it starts in protection, you know what I'm saying? It starts in protection to make sure, you know, we're the straight. Like, we always, you know, we talking like, hey, bro, what is this? What this is? What this look is? And, like, what that look is? And it starts in, and like, you know, with that, with the, uh, with the protection piece and also, you know, we let them know, like, we trust in them. And, like, also, like, if they, if somebody missed a block or we missed a cut, like, you know what I'm saying? We tell them, like, we believe in you. You know what I'm saying? We believe in y'all, and I know they believe in us. So it's just a, just that communication with that belief system just going, you know, help us skyrocket. Is there a next step in your mind of like what has to happen next for the run game to keep getting better? Um, it's always a such thing as a next step, but like before you think about the next step, you got to think about the step sure. that you're on. So you know, we just focus on the step that we on, and just sometimes you know it'd be hard, you know, it'd be hard, like just you know all the circumstances, but like we just working one day at a time, man. Working one day at a time, be the best we can possibly be. Two days ago, we had our jog through um, day, just going over the stuff. Um, you know, team meetings. First thing you, we put up there, um, the fines and what's going to happen if we get into a fight. What's the repercussions for the individual and all that stuff. So we made it a really big deal to to really show some self control and discipline. You know how much it, you know how much it would have cost you? I think like fifty thousand individual, two hundred for the team. <laughs> I realized that I realized that a little late. I'm not gonna lie. When he uh, got out there, because at first when someone grabbed me, like I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm I'm six six obviously. So I see someone like coming up to here, and I'm like, man, I'm not trying to hit none of this. Like I'm trying to get him out the way because I'm like at this point I'm really like like aggravated. And then all of a sudden like he's low key he got a like good grip on me. So I'm I'm like like who, who got a grip on me like this? And I look down at him. I'm like ah oh, let me chill. Like, this is Jim. Let me chill. Let me chill. But. Leonard Williams different than anything you've seen. Um, I mean, yeah, he's a, he's a different caliber player. Um, you know, going against Jeffrey Simmons, I think he's the best interior defensive player in the uh, league right now. Um, you know, but Leonard's, um, I want to say more versatile, but I've seen him more versatile in this aspect, playing the five as well, coming out to the edge. But, um, I mean, you know, I, I go against Jeff every day, so it wasn't nothing too, too far off. Overall, how do you think the quality of work? Was that you oh, with those days. 10 out of 10. I mean, it was amazing. I mean, they got to see things that they haven't seen before. We got to see things we haven't seen before. We got to put a live action um, situations in, you know, just competing. And, you know, like I said, I mean, they, I mean, we played them this week, but I mean, you know, we're going against our own guys. We've been doing that since OTAs and in the spring. So it's like, you know what a guy does, what's his counter, first, second, third, fourth, fifth move, you know, going against these guys. I mean, it's not really, I just film on them, but it's not like, we're um, game planning them for this practice, you know, so we get we get a chance to really just go out there and compete. Yeah, it was actually fun um, just to get to see new looks, um, see new people, and um, just go out there and compete and, you know, put my skill set versus their skill set and see who the best man is. From an offensive sample, how do you think you guys did? What's the biggest takeaway leaving here on what you got to do better? Um, you know, just honestly, just keep coming out here and keep stacking days. Um, you know, things are going to happen. But it's just about how we're gonna, you know, bounce back and keep moving forward. I know you talked about working to get yourself ready for camp. How much you feel like what you did during the course of the offseason is paying off for you now? Um, I mean, everything that I'm out here doing, it's paying off because of my work ethic over the off season. Um, able to sustain, stand out there, ten play drives during practice. Just, just, you know, able to. You know, just have fun doing it also is the main thing, so. Were you scared for a second with the cramp, or did you know it was cramp? Um, yeah, I mean, cramps. You can't really do nothing about cramps. Uh, yeah. Calves just locked up, man, and I couldn't move. And, you know, I was just trying to get help to get them loosened up. But you knew it wasn't anything? Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. There was a lot of chatter out there today. You felt like you guys did, and everybody did a good job of not letting things fold over. Yeah, I felt like that, you know, we... One thing, <laughs> nobody wanted to, you know, have to play the whole game yeah. Saturday and also lose game checks and get suspended, all types of crap. So, um, you know, that was good that we just, you know, even though it got a little mouthy and touchy a little bit, we were able to just hold our composure and so that, keep that, playing. Was that, the, was that the plan if you fought, you were playing the whole game Saturday? Uh, for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about Roger McQuarrie? Roger. Oh, Roger. <laughs> you know that Roger, that's that's my dog, man. Um you know, I've known him since college ball. SEC baby. Yeah, SEC boys. So uh yeah, that's my boy. Love him to death. Callie says uh the league's gonna get the start Saturday night. How much are you looking forward to seeing 
what he can do and, and how has he progressed so far? Um, yeah, man, that's exciting for him. Um, I'm happy for him. Um, you know, um, he deserves it. Uh, he's worked his butt off, and he's going to – I feel like he's going to go out there and put his best, best foot forward and compete and, uh, you know, just – make the most out of his opportunity. So. Is, is he a different player in your mind? Yeah. Um, I mean, everybody, you can tell in the whole locker room, everybody's gotten better. Um, and it's just because, you know, we just come out here and compete every day and get each other better. So just keep doing that. This camp felt different for you just because you, you've been been through it already as a rookie. You've been through last year. I would yeah. say, I, I don't mean to cut you off, but I would say it's felt different because I'm healthy. I'm yeah. able to just keep practicing. Um, no injuries. I feel good. I'm in a great spot, um, and I'm just having fun. So, would you like Mason to? Sleep? I mean, it's been dope. You know, what I mean, for me, um, no other team I'd rather join practice. You know, what I mean, than my guys over there because you know they know how to practice. We know how to practice. You know, guys not on the BS. So um, we just come get great days of work, and you know, go out and compete on Saturday. And um, great to see a lot of people that you know I haven't seen in a while. And. Um, people that I talk to frequently, you know what I mean? So um, it's been cool. Who How'd you think the, the defense trash talk ringleader, you or Jamal? <laughs> it's both, you know what I mean? I think it's both. Uh, I think me and him, we feed off each other, you know what I mean? I think uh, people can tell you that, um, but it's definitely, you know, um, it, it's fun. So you guys will see more and more each day. How'd you think the defense fared today? I think we played solid. I think we came back, you know, we, obviously we gave up some stuff, just, you know, communication stuff that, you know, going to get fixed that, that we can fix. But, uh, I mean, seeing offense like that, being able to go against them, I think it will continue to get us ready as the season continues to, to progress. Quan Rebo, you've gone, you've been a leader. How is that showing up here with Tennessee? I mean, right now, you know, I'm just trying to fit in. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to do anything out of the ordinary. But, you know, um, level of respect that, you know, that I feel like that I've earned around the league. You know, guys respect me enough to be able to ask me questions and, um, ask what I see and things like that. And I'm still learning, you know what I mean? I got a lot of learning to do, and um, it's, it's nothing that I'm not ready to do or nothing that I'm not ready to take on. How do you go about developing that energy we're seeing from Seattle here? You said it's going to come. Yeah. How does that happen? I mean, it's just time together, you know what I mean? It's, it's literally time together and um, just spending time with each other, learning each other's personality. I'm an observer, bro. I observe everything, and um, I want to be able to see certain things. and. You know, I talk to guys differently. You know, I know how to talk to people differently, and I and I get that. So um, I think for me it's just be myself every day so guys know me and feel comfortable with be they self. No, you, you haven't been here long, but what's the biggest thing you've observed about this team and your new teammates since you've been here? I mean, great group great group of guys, great energy. Um, I think defensively, you know, because that's who I've been around most is um, I think guys, you know, play great effort. You know what I mean? For us, we just we still learn Denar. Denar still is learning us. And um, I think we just we're gonna I think we're gonna be fine. You know, we just rolling into it. I mean, it's week what three of camp, week four of camp, and week two for myself. So uh, we just getting going. And I think you know as we progress, we'll be fine. Being around Spoon last season, seeing him out here today, just like how excited are for you about what what he can be as a player? Man, I think he could be one of the best. You know, what I mean, the energy, um, how smart he is. You know, what I mean, he's competitive as heck. He makes a play over there. He's yelling across to the other side of the field to us. Um, you know, just the, the back and forth. And like I said, he's super smart and um, respect the heck out of him. And um, he's probably, you know, he's one, probably one of my favorite teammates ever just because you know what he's going to be on every day. And I know how competitive it is and he listens. Um, so um, whenever he has anything he needs from me, he know I'm always there for him. Oh, yeah, for sure. I thought it was a great past two days of practice against a good team. Uh, and like you said, we got, a, you know, some different looks than what we've been getting in camp. So. It was good work, good competition. What do you uh, what do you see out of some of these other guys? I mean, knowing that Arden's probably not going to be available for the start of the year, what are you seeing from some of the other guys that are uh, trying to earn a spot in the rotation? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just seeing daily improvement, to be honest. I think they're doing a good job um, enhancing the stuff that they're doing well and also making the corrections that they gotta that they got to correct. And they're just, I think they're really focused on just stacking days and, you know, coming out here and going to work, which, you know, I appreciate and I can really see the hard work that all the guys are putting in. We've been talking about getting you fewer snaps here for years. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like that's happening this year, does it? Yeah, I don't want it to happen either. I mean, er everybody knows I hate coming off the field, so that's why we work so hard. That's why we train so hard to be able to go all day long. How has it come up? What? Fr from them, have they talked about using you less? We haven't heard about it. The way nah, no, nah, it's just be ready to go. How fine is the line out there? I mean, there was a whole lot of talking on both sides today. How fine do you have to walk it to keep it from getting out of hand? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, you just got to keep it business. Come out here and play football and uh, just focus on getting better and don't worry about all that other stuff. And I mean, there was a couple things put in place to make sure that the, the fights don't get too out of hand. So, I mean, at the end of the day, just focus on ball. Are those financial things? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you got to ask this already, but how would you rate the quality of work you guys get out here with, these, with those guys? Like? Oh, I thought it was great work, to be honest. I feel like the last two days were competitive. It was a bunch of back and forth, and I feel like we really got better out of it. I mean, I, I feel very comfortable. I really like the offense that, uh, that we're really showing, the scheme that we were playing with. And um, I think we have all the pieces to be really great, you know. And uh, I'm excited to see how this translates to the season. Would it surprise you to know that Josh was really quiet the last few didn't, we didn't hear him during practice. Yeah, he, yeah. He was just so tired, man. He's so tired. You, you lose a lot of breath when you talk all that. <laughs> so, uh, so that's when I stepped in for him. You know, I kind of, someone's got to pick up the, the rifle, right? When you know, when a guy goes down. Um, but uh, man, we just we just try to bring the energy in the tight end room. Um, that's something I always preach. Uh, I feel like we're the heartbeat. I don't want to. I feel like we're the heartbeat of the team in a way on the offense. Um, you know, we're the X factors and. It's like if we're not bringing the energy, then who else is? So I think once we bring the energy, everybody else kind of rises to the occasion. And um, that's when we get our best practices. That's when we compete at the highest level. So that's what we're going to continue to do. Um, if we have to talk a little bit to do it, then that's what we're going to do, man. It's, we're just trying to get each other better.